Today's video is about a really robust strategy that has only three statements to trade in and out. It has uh, above 75% win rate. It's compounding in a portfolio at around 30% per year. Been out of sample for 13 years already. Works on many stocks and many ETFs and indexes around the globe. And this video, I will show you how to build it, the results, combine it in a portfolio and everything else. So let's start. Welcome back everyone. Thank you for joining me. Ali Casey here from Stat Oasis channel, where we discuss investing, finance, algorithmic trading, and everything else in between. We want to trade profitable strategies inside a robust portfolio to make, of course, money. If you are new to this channel, make sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell, so you don't miss any of the amazing content that I post daily on this channel. Also, if you are getting any value out of these videos, I would really appreciate it if you smash the like button, share the video with others, as sharing the video is a thank you to me, as this helped Google to push the video to other traders, other investors, so they can get some value out of these videos. If you are an avid viewer of this channel, then you know I like simplicity and also I like mere reversion. I follow the concept of KISS, which is keep it simple, steadily. <laughs> <laughs> and based on this, one of my favorite researchers and traders is Larry Connors. Now, Larry Connors published a book back in 2008. And in that book, he published a strategy called the Double Seven. The strategy is extremely simple. Basically, we wait for a seven day low to go long and we will exit when we hit a seven day high. That's it. It's a mere reversion strategy. And of course, the perfect vehicle by now, if you don't know this, then you didn't see any of my videos. We know that the perfect vehicle for mere reversion strategies is S&P 500 index. Of course, there are many other uh, ETFs and indexes and stocks, but let's start with the SPY and see how it performs. So this is a strategy, three statement, as I told you, there is nothing else, no stop loss, no profit target, nothing. Just three statement. When the close is lower than the lowest close, make sure that this is closed, we're not talking about lowest low, then six days ago, so today we're testing for the past six days, that means we are on the seventh day today. Then we will go long, and when the close is greater than the highest close, of the past six days, because we're shifting one, that means today is the seventh day, then we will exit. And we have one filter, which is when the close greater than the SMA 200. It doesn't get any simpler than this, although I have a simpler strategy, which you know about, the RSI 2, the RSI 4, power zone. So there are many of this nature, and they're actually all based on this great researcher, Larry Connors. But let's see how this strategy performs. And we will be testing this using TradeStation Engine on SPY, which is the S&P 500 ETFs. And this is the data I have since 1993 till today. And this is the result. I am using a stock size by price, meaning my account of $10,000 is always invested in. And obviously it looks great. And like, as I told you, all mere reversion strategies will perform very well on S&P 500. And look at this, we have 76% winning rate, average trade of 287, which is great. And we are under 30% exposure in the market. Compound annual growth rate at 8.25% since 1993. So you might say, so what? You know, I can hold the S&P 500 and get probably 6.5% a year compound annual growth rate, which is true, but that rate compound by more than 50% drawdown, while here we have 12.7% drawdown. So return to drawdown ratio with this strategy is above 18. That is huge because uh, the S&P 500 had uh, the 50% in 2000, that dot-com bubble, Another 55% in 2008 subprime uh, and 30% drawdown in COVID and multiple 5 and 10% drawdowns. While here, the maximum drawdown we have since 1993 
is 12.7%. What's amazing about this strategy is this was published in 2008. So since 2008 is all out of sample. So let's see how it looks. So look at this. Since 2008, so all these trades, oops. <laughs> So all these trades are out of sample since 2008. So 2009, we're up a little bit down, a little bit down, up. And this is March COVID, which is the fastest drawdown ever in the S&P 500, where the S&P 500 lost 30%. And then in 2021, so far, we're doing wonderful, making $15,000 so far. And I will remind you that we have 12.71% drawdown. And to put that in perspective with the uh, SPY, that the in March, so let's zoom in. So in March 2020, this is the drawdown we have. We have minus 11%. And this is the open drawdown. The actual drawdown is actually around 5%. So open means that this drawdown is when we when we were holding a position and even then it's 11 percent while the s p 500 had a 30 percent drawdown most of 2008 2009 it was in cash and also most of 2001 this is because of the filter the close greater than the 200 day moving average there is no two ways about it the strategy is excellent highly robust three statements 12 years out of sample i mean there is and we already faced covid uh, during that period which is the fastest drawdown in the S&P 500 since it was invented. So really, it's extremely, extremely robust. So I took the strategy to the optimizer and here I put the uh, the exit from four to eight and the entry also from four to eight. And we're not optimizing the filter 200 day. And when we run the optimization, we can see that this is the profile. So this is the exit from four to eight, and this is the entry from four to eight. Six actually is one of the worst performing uh, entries. I mean, definitely five entry and six exit is the best, this one. But we are using six and six. So this one. So we're definitely far away from the peak at five. And there is probably a little bit uh, close here at seven. And then we come back at eight. So we are sitting in this valley. So I, I don't think it's optimized. I mean, I can sure pick number five. Then that will be the peak. Also, when I run SPP on it, net profit is less than median. Drawdown a little bit more than median. Maximum drawdown a little bit more than median. Return to drawdown ratio below median, sharp ratio below median. So running SPP on this strategy, really, I mean, it's uh, it's very nice to see something like this out of sample, performing really well in uh, SPP. And we can see that it is not sitting on a peak when we run the optimization. It's In fact, it's, if anything, it sits in the valley. Now let's see how it performs on, on other markets. So this is on the NASDAQ. And again, it's performing uh, very close to the S&P 500 with 8% uh, percent compound annual growth rate, 74% winning rate, under 30% exposure, and a little bit higher drawdown. And here I build a portfolio of these. So this is double seven, double six, double eight, double seven on Dow, double seven on triple Q. And we can see they're all making money. And this portfolio is compounding at 11.6% with 70% winning rate and below 24% maximum uh, drawdown and around 42% exposure. Now, something comes to mind is the S&P 500, of course, uh, its component, it's all stocks. There is, uh, I mean, there are different sectors of stocks. So then it makes sense that some, at least, of these stocks will perform well using this strategy. So this is the portfolio of stocks. And we can see we have, I mean, uh, like I mentioned, I just have the data of these stocks because I don't have the data of all stocks in SQX. I mean, I can, but I just didn't download them all. Uh, but th this is, of course, Tesla is uh, EV cars and AMD and chips, Adobe software, Netflix, 
streaming, Procter and Gamble, basically consumer discretionary, Intel chips, Shopify e-commerce, Nvidia and chips, Google, I would say, I don't know, software, Amazon e-commerce, applied materials, chips, and Apple, which is also, you can say, consumer. And of course, like I mentioned, so Tesla and Netflix and Shopify, they're all brand new. And Google go back to 2009. And then the rest go back to 1993. But in any case, all of them perform really well. And the portfolio is actually compounding at 28.5 with a drawdown below 19%. And a percentage, winning percentage of above 70%. But now, because this portfolio is not correlated, we have 88% exposure. These trades don't overlap a lot, which is extremely, extremely good. No correlation at all. And of course, we can see the chart. So these are, this is the portfolio with all of its components. And the maximum drawdown we have is 20% in 2009. This is the subprime. And we have around 15% in the dot com. And we have about uh, 5% in the COVID. And by the way, this portfolio compounding at 28% at the total sum. So I assumed I have 10,000 each. Now, of course, if I am trading this portfolio for real, then I don't need 130,000. But I just put uh, the total here because if I put only 10, then the compound annual rate is like 65%. And then you are in Jim Simon level, which is not real. So, uh, so, but of course, if you're trading this, then obviously any amount will do. Yes, you can trade with $10,000. So there you go. This is my favorite free strategy so far on this channel. Especially, of course, you need to trade this in a portfolio or you trade the strategy on a portfolio. So this strategy can be its own portfolio on all these stocks, like I mentioned. Of course, you can combine them with ranking stocks, but that's, you know, more advanced subject. Hopefully I can cover it in a future video. As always, I'm happy to answer any questions you have regarding this strategy or other strategies or other subjects like in finance, trading, investing. And like always, if you want to continue the conversation further or you want to get more information, then you're welcome to join the Discord server by following the Patreon link down below. As always, good luck with your trading, good luck with your investing, stay safe, and I'll see you soon.